All right, so let's start with the big story that we are tracking on Vyond Deza. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz is presently on a three-day visit to Canada to try and boost energy security. The visit comes at a time when Europe is staring at a looming energy crisis and Scholz is accompanied by the Vice Chancellor and Energy Minister Robert Habeck. The leaders landed in Montreal late on Sunday and were greeted by the Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and also his deputy Christia Freeland. The three-day visit will also include scheduled stops in Toronto and Stephenville. On the agenda is a deal for supplying of clean hydrogen fuel and also critical minerals. This as Berlin is now trying to speed up its transition to green energy. The German Chancellor will also meet with the Canadian businessman. This also comes in a bit to try and discuss potential investments in Germany as it is seeking to deepen its economic ties with Canada. They're keeping in mind Germany's short-term goals to reduce Russian dependency on gas supplies. The Trudeau and Scholz are also expected to discuss the possibility of Canada delivering liquefied natural gas to Germany. This amidst the growing fears that Moscow might decide to completely shut down the Russian flow of gas just ahead of the winter months. The Moscow has heavily reduced their gas supplies through the Nord Stream 1 pipeline in retaliation to Western sanctions. The pipeline is currently running at just about 20% of its normal capacity. The Scholz's arrival coincides with renewed calls from Ukraine for Justin Trudeau to cancel a decision to allow the return of a turbine that is being repaired in Montreal for use in a Russian gas pipeline. The Kiev has called on Ottawa to cancel the waiver which allowed the Canadian company to avoid sanctions against Russia to return the turbine. While Canada is the world's fifth largest producer of gas, it is not amongst the major short and medium term suppliers of liquefied natural gas to Germany. And this is due to Canada's lack of export facilities to send immediate shipments to Europe. So to fulfill the short term goals, Germany is also looking for ready to ship fuel, which are also environment friendly. Now, the energy minister Habeck has already visited countries like Qatar, the United Arab Emirates and Norway on missions to try and diversify the energy resources that Germany in fact imports its gas from. All right, now to give us more insights in terms of what can of course be expected of this visit by Olaf Scholz to Canada, we're being joined in by our correspondent Trent Murray who's joining us live from Berlin. Now, Trent, this is, of course, a very crucial visit by the German Chancellor Olaf Scholz. He's on a three-day visit to Canada. And looking at things have been going on in terms of the gas that Germany imports from Russia and also the complications that have arisen due to the Ukraine war, Germany at this point of time desperately needs to diversify its sources of clean fuel. What does Olaf Scholz intend to get from this visit to Canada? Yeah, well, it absolutely is a critical meeting for the German Chancellor and the government he leads because right now, as you said, Germany finds itself in a very desperate situation trying to find alternative sources of energy. For decades, really, this country has relied on Russia to provide its oil, its coal, its gas. But after that war in Ukraine, it is now desperately trying to find other places that can fill in the gap with supplies of those uh, f fossil fuels essentially drying up either through sanctions or because of Ash Russia's actions when it comes to the pipeline capacity. So Olaf Scholz will speak to Prime Minister Trudeau, we understand, uh, not just about gas, but also about some of those rare minerals which Canada is very, very rich in. Minerals like nickel, cobalt, lithium and graphite. They are all extremely critical for making batteries and Germany is really banking on not just getting alternative supplies of fossil fuels but also moving forward to build more renewable energy and to then store that energy in, to, in big batteries for when the wind isn't blowing or the sun isn't shining. Absolutely indeed and considering what's been happening with the Nord Stream 1 pipeline we've given to understand that the supply of gas to Germany is down to what is about 20 percent of its otherwise regular capacity. How has this impacted Germany? 
Yeah, I, I mean, and in the past 72 hours, the situation has become really even more urgent and, and dramatic, if you will, because Gazprom has, of course, now announced that that capacity will go down to 0% for three days of maintenance at the end of this month. Now, it is very important to note two things. Number one, they just finished a 10-day maintenance window in the past few weeks. Uh, and number two, the German officials will tell you that they have very, very very good readings of the Nord Stream pipeline from their end, their own computer systems plugged into it, mm -hmm. uh, and they will tell you that maintenance is not needed right now, that this is maintenance for maintenance sake, and they say this is purely a political ploy by the Kremlin to try and put pressure on Germany, effectively using energy as a weapon. Absolutely indeed. Thank you very much indeed, Trent Murray, for joining us from Berlin and getting us all those updates there. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.